reading from the holy gospel according to matthew chapter 13 verses 18 to 23 passage taken from the message version of the bible study this story of the farmer planting seed when anyone hears news of the kingdom and doesn't take it in it just remains on the surface and so the evil one comes along and plucks it right out of that person's heart this is the seed the farmer scatters on the road the seed cast in the gravel this is the person who hears and instantly responds with enthusiasm but there is no soil of character and so when the emotions wear off and some difficulty arrives there is nothing to show for it the seed cast in the weeds is the person who hears the kingdom news but weeds of worry and illusions about getting more and wanting everything under the sun strangle what has heard and nothing comes of it the seed cast on good earth is the person who hears and takes in the news and then produces a harvest beyond his wildest dreams the gospel of the lord reflections on the gospel according to matthew chapter 13 verses 18 to 23 we come today to the explanation of the parable of the sower many scripture scholars today believe that this interpretation to the parable of jesus may be coming from the tradition of the early church the parable focuses on the sower while its interpretation looks much more at the soil in which the seed falls the interpretation reflects the experiences of the early church as it tried to spread the gospel the four different kinds of soil are taken to represent four kinds of responses to the word of god the explanation is also understood as an attempt to illustrate the various ways that people respond to words of jesus when jesus actually spoke to them the explanation to the parable aims to help the disciples to identify the difficulties that the word of god encounters in everyone the failure in results depends neither on the seed nor on the sower but on the type of the soil it is not talking about four categories of persons but four interior dispositions found in every person every person can have all these four different dispositions when he or she receives or responds to the message of god meaning to say no one is totally bad to reject the gospel there are areas to work on in everyone to prepare the ideal ground for the gospel the seed is excellent because it is the gospel and the sower is an expert because he is christ himself why then is it so difficult to penetrate into the hearts of people and bear fruit the gospel calls on us to reflect on our dispositions let me borrow the explanations of father fernando armelini on the seeds that fell on the road and the birds that came to aid them a road or a path is where everyone passes the seed does not penetrate on the paths because the soil is trampled on by everyone it means that we give in to everyone's way of thinking everyone's way of reasoning valuing things as everybody else does and this voice of everybody else is often not in tune with the voice of the gospel and when we follow what everyone else says even if the message of the gospel reaches our ears it does not penetrate into the heart because the ground is hardened it is trampled on by the logic of everyone and the birds arrive there is a lot of talk in the bible about birds 
In chapter 15 of the book of Genesis, the birds of prey represented the pagan people who wanted to divert Israel from the covenant with the Lord. What do these birds of prey represent today? Secularization, a thousand distractions, permissiveness, nonsense circulating on our smartphones, the fashions that make us lose our minds, and we unwittingly give up the message of the gospel to the birds. <laughs>